In this video, we're going to be looking at the conjugate root theorem. So the conjugate root theorem states that if a polynomial has real coefficients, but has a complex root, a plus bi, then its conjugate a minus bi must also be a root of the polynomial. Now we can see why this is the case when we multiply out complex conjugates. So let's have a look. Let's say you have a complex number x plus 3i. Now its conjugate is x minus 3i. When I multiply it, I have a situation of um, a plus b times by a minus b. So the result is going to be difference of squares, x squared minus 9i squared. So that simplifies to x squared plus 9 because i squared is equal to negative 1. So we can see when we multiply two complex conjugates, the result does not have any imaginary part. So it makes sense that you, if you have a polynomial with only real coefficients, but has a complex root a plus bi, then the other root must be the conjugate of the complex root. Okay, so now let's um, try and apply that to this question. So we are asked to find the other roots of this polynomial that's given here, given that one of the root is 5 plus i. Now, if um, 5 plus i is a root, and you look at this polynomial, and it has no imaginary part, all the coefficients are real, what that tells us is that, from the conjugate root theorem, that 5 minus i is the other root. So we've got two roots so far, 5 minus i and 5 plus i. This is a cubic, so you know that it's got another root, Okay, and we are going to try and work out that root. So if 5 minus i is a root, then the factor is going to be, sorry, it's going to be x minus 5 minus i. That's the factor. And for this one, it will be x minus 5 plus i, which we can simplify out by getting rid of the brackets. Okay, so I know that when I multiply out these two factors and the third factor, I'm going to get the polynomial. So I've got x minus 5 plus i times x minus 5 minus i. And my third factor and the result of this is going to be x cubed minus 12x squared plus 46x minus 52. Now, the coefficient of x cubed is 1, and the coefficient of these two factors is uh, 1. So I know to get um, the product of x cubed, this one must also be x here. And I don't know what the uh, this number is just yet. We're going to put in a plus a. Okay, so we will work that out by inspection in a minute. Let's multiply out the first two factors. Here we have a situation of a uh, plus b times a minus b. a is x minus 5 and b is um, i. So here we have, again, just to repeat that, um, a plus b times a minus b. So the result will be difference of squares. So it's x minus 5 squared minus I squared. So that works out to be x squared minus 10x plus 25 and minus minus 1 is plus 1. Okay, so that's x squared minus 10x plus 26. And that's equal to x cubed minus 12x squared plus 46x minus 52. Now by inspection I can work out what a is. Um, you know that these two should multiply to negative 52, the constant term. So um, a therefore 
is going to be negative 2. So our third factor is x minus 2. The question asks for other roots. They've already given 1. The other roots are 5 minus i, which we worked out using the conjugate root theorem. And um, the third root is 2, because x minus 2 is the factor. Equating it to 0, we get x equals to 2. Okay, next question. Now in this question, we are trying to work out the value of a, given 3i is a root of this polynomial here. So we're going to apply the factor theorem. So the factor theorem basically says, um, if you have a root and if you substitute into the polynomial, the result will be 0. So I know that if I replace x with 3i, the result should be 0. So 3i cubed plus 2, 3i squared, plus a times 3i, plus 18 should be 0. So 3i cubed is 27i cubed, and this is 2 times 9i squared, so that's 18i squared, and that's 3ai, plus 18 is equal to 0. Now, i cubed is negative i, uh, sorry, negative 1 times i, so this is going to be negative 27, and that's minus 18. So, um, sorry, there's an i here that I missed out. Okay, so um, simplifying that, we have minus 18 and plus 18 crossing out. And what we have left is minus 27i plus 3ai equal to 0. So if I um, rearrange this, I will get 3ai equal to 27i. So I can equate the coefficients of the imaginary part together, so 3a equals to 27, and from that I can deduce that a is equal to 9. Okay, so the last question we have in this video. So um, in this question you're asked to solve um, this cubic. Um, so we are going to start off with the factor theorem. We know that um, if you have a root um, and you substitute that in place of x, the polynomial should give you 0. Okay, so are we going to um, start off by looking at factors of negative 10? So factors of negative 10 are uh, plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 5, plus or minus 10. I'm going to start with uh, positive 1. I'm going to substitute into the polynomial to see if it equates to 0. Okay, so let's have a look. 1, one cubed minus 7 times 1 squared plus 16 times 1. Oops. Minus 10. Okay, so this works out to be zero. Great. What this tells me is that x equals 1 is a solution or a root. That tells me that x minus 1 is a factor. Okay, so if I have one factor, I can work out the quadratic factor for this cubic by dividing by x minus 1. So let's do that. So I'm going to use um, long division. So I'm dividing by the factor that I've just figured out. So um, x times what gives me x cubed? And that's x squared. So x times x squared is x cubed, minus 1 times x squared is minus x squared. Now I'm subtracting. That's eliminated. So minus 7x squared plus x squared is 6x squared. Sorry, minus 6x squared. Bring down the 16x. Now I'm looking for 
x times what gives me 6x squared, and that's minus 6x. So that gives me minus 6x squared here, and minus 1 times minus 6x is positive 6x. Subtract this, and that's eliminated. 16x take away 6x is 10x. Bring down the 10. Uh, and x times what is 10x, and that's positive 10. So here we have. Okay, so what I have just figured out is that x cubed minus 7x squared plus 16x minus 10 has a linear factor of x minus 1 and a quadratic factor of x squared minus 6x plus 10. So um, at this stage, I can try and factorize this quadratic, um, and it can't be factorized. So I'm going to be using the quadratic formula. So I've got x equals to minus b plus or minus b squared. Oops. Sorry about that. So, so I've got um, minus 6 squared minus 4ac, so that's 40, all over 2. So that's 6 plus or minus... Thirty-six minus forty all over two, so that simplifies to six plus or minus negative square root of. Okay, so that works out to be. Um, remember, negative one is i squared, so I'm going to have plus or minus two i all over two. So I've got here. 3 plus or minus i. So the question was solve. So I've got 2. When I equate x minus 1 equal to 0, I get x equals 1. And the other roots are x equals 3 plus i and 3 minus i. So here we have our three roots.